now rocking with the best, Ro Parrish, here, Studio B Playoff Central Live, presented by AT&T 5G, along with the marksman. Leave it. Dennis Scott, you know what time it is. We just witnessed, and it wasn't supposed to be like this tonight. We had two game fives. We thought that they were going to be tight and they were contested, but both home teams came out and smacked the other team in the face and ended up getting blowout victories. The Phoenix Suns get the victory tonight, as we mentioned. 3D, what are your immediate takeaways watching Phoenix dominate, especially in that third quarter going on the run? Like second quarter, too, but they just distanced themselves from the Mavs. Well, let's give Luka some love because at least – they did get off to the, a good start in that first quarter. At least we had a ball game in the first half, right? Now we heard Reggie talk about if we could ever figure out why role players can't play the same at home than on the road, then we could fix that problem. But it's a part of life and part of the human nature. So with that being said, they opened up that can in the third quarter. They got the stops. You heard Allie talk about the turnovers they, the Phoenix Summer made the Mavs do. And then they started making shots. But more importantly, like Charles said last night, Devin, what Sean said in the pregame show, Devin Booker did not wait to see if Chris Paul was going to put his imprint on this game. Devin Booker said, I'm going to do that. And then conversely, the role players for the Suns made some shots and played good defense. Uh, I think Reggie talked about Shamit. Yes. You know, going with Biamo, things like that. A little small tweaks helped out tonight. So when we look at it, the Phoenix Suns, they took a 19-8 run in the second quarter where they took the halftime lead, and then they went on that ginormous 17-0 run in the third that pretty much set the scene and pretty much put the Mavericks to sleep. The points you see them right there, points off turnovers. That's the number that I see. The Mavericks had 12 turnovers. That's the most in the playoffs since the Knicks had the, that same amount in the quarter back in 2012. The Phoenix Suns definitely taking advantage of that, scoring 18 points. There's no way you're beating the Phoenix Suns scoring 14 points in one quarter. Nah. It's not going to happen. You've had some success in games three and four in your building, but you cannot do that on the road. So you give Monty a lot of credit for getting his guys refocused and understanding what they need to do on the defensive end. So now, Mikael Bridges, different guys are getting out and running. They're getting alley-oops. That's one thing we've known about this team all season long, bro. When they play good half-court defense, the Suns, and get out and run, it's threes, it's alley-oop dunks, it's multiple players that can push the tempo, or should I say push the emphasis on the tempo when you get steals like they showed us tonight. So 12 turnovers, only scoring 14 points. You're not going to be the good team like the Phoenix Suns doing that on the road. No, you're not. The Phoenix Suns, we know that they share the Rock 28 assists. But when you go to the other side, the Dallas Mavericks only had nine assists in the whole game. Luka Doncic had a career low, two assists in this game. Now, early on, 3D, of course, you want to give Luka his props. Kept the game close through the first two quarters. But when you have your floor general, your leader who only has two assists in the game, what does that tell you, especially when they take this L? Uh, role players, can you make some shots, please? It wasn't like Luca was being selfish. It wasn't like he was forcing a lot of things. He had a few turnovers there, and you give a lot of credit to the Suns' defense. But you, we saw in games three and four how well, you know, Vin, uh, uh, Finney Smith, guys like that, was making the three-point shots. They weren't making the night. So now Luca was stuck. Do I try to force it more and go for more of mine and see if I can penetrate through this defense, or do I continue to try to trust my team on the road to make shots? Neither happened in that third quarter. That's why only 14 points. Yeah, during that stretch, there was a stretch where they made- Missed eight consecutive three-pointers during that 17-0 Phoenix Suns run. Pull out your phone and let it be known with a Mavericks force game seven so far. Fans out there say absolutely not. Whoa, 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 fans. Are those Maverick fans giving up? Or are those Suns fans believing in what you saw tonight? Or that the casual fan giving up if you've been watching this series? If you've been watching this series close, why wouldn't you believe they're going to go back home and play well? Didn't they play well in games three and four, bro? Two beatdowns in Dallas. Hold on. Didn't they play very well in games three and four? Absolutely. Didn't Maxi Kleber and Finney Smith and Brunson? Who am I missing? Uh, uh, the other well, shooter. I mean, Jalen Brunson, you can mention him. Davis Bertans. Bertans, that's what I'm missing. Bertans, another one of those guys that didn't play well in games one and two. The others went home. well at We've home. We've been saying it for the last, what, I've been in this, in this seat now 15 years, and I've played 10 years. So for 25 years, we've always said, how do role players play better on the road? Well, the great ones do. And the ones who are trying to figure out don't. And that's what we saw tonight with the Mavericks players. They did it in games three and four, but did not do it tonight on the road. 
Flip side, we talked about the third quarter, 12 turnovers. So you give the Suns a lot of credit for playing great defense. Got to give the Suns a lot of credit. Chris Paul didn't necessarily need, need to, to have a great no. game. Seven points, 10 assists, which are big. Mm-hmm. Of course, we know that he is the leader of that team. But still, they managed to get this blowout victory. What does this tell you about this Phoenix Suns team, seeing that he doesn't have to put up the big, gaudy numbers in order for them to win ball games? For all those people that panicked that Chris Paul had a subpar game three and four, The tape doesn't lie. He admitted, I didn't play well. Are we still worried about games three and four? No, we can't go back. You redeem yourself in game five. Devin Booker steps up and reminds us how good he is. Monty tweaks a few things to go with Landry Landry Sharma and uh, and Biombo. Right? So now guys are making shots. Aiden plays well. So now if you were a casual fan wondering what it was, I think Jay Kidd's going to show us the real deal now.